Hello guys and welcome back in a new video. Uh, today, before I start the unboxing of this printer I received from Ultimaker, i just give you a quick news. I will be uh, this weekend at the Insomnia uh, in UK, so if you want to meet me I will be there with my company 3DNA. I will leave uh, all the social of my company down below in the description so you can check it out. And uh, I will be there with Cooler Master UK and I will do 3D printing live and 3D designing for 3 days, so Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I will bring with me this Ultimaker Go and my Ultimaker 2 Plus. So if you are around, come and say hello. Uh, but I will not lose too much time and uh, start to unboxing this printer. Uh, how probably a lot of uh, you know is the smaller printer from Ultimaker is the Ultimaker Go and uh, it's pretty cool because you can uh, pretty much travel with it so you can uh, there is different add-ons and uh, like the latest one you can use it like a backpack and like if you want to go to a client and show like a 3 printer because maybe the client never saw it it's something really cool uh, so we'll just open it and uh, we see what is inside the box and uh, I, I will create different video with this machine because it's, I think it is an interesting concept and if you want to check out all the um, the price all the stuff I will leave the link directly to the Ultimaker website okay I will put down the printer and I will pull it out. So this is the box and it's super really well packed. I mean I don't think so you will receive a broken printer with this kind of packaging and uh, you can remove this clip remove right here the top part Oh no, correctly like this. Oh, amazing. And inside, as uh, you can see, you have the Ultimaker 2 Go. It's so tiny, it's so cool. It's so much time I want to uh, be able to test one. We can find, uh, of course, the printer and on the back we have a spool, it's like a silver or a grey, a silver, metallic silver, is uh, PLA. And how you can see is packed really well, I mean it's so cool. And inside we found this model, probably is like a test model, the print with the printer, to check that everything's working well. And then I think I just put again this on the top because here in the top part I'm pretty sure we can find other stuff because <clears throat> you can remove this top piece oh okay it was a bit stuck <clears throat> so we found uh, a steer a uh, quick start guide uh, other Stuff, like a kind of, of Deplian, a card, I think you can, yeah, a calibration card, it's really nice, I always, I already have one, I always use it, <clears throat> then we find, oh, another hot end uh, for the machine, I think uh, if you broke it or you have an issue you can just change it, okay, you have uh, uh, blue tape uh, to put on the build plate so the model will stick better. Uh, you have the cable, glue, some tools, the spool holder, the power cable, and of course, I think this part, yeah, is always the the power supply yeah. and for last things you can find yeah, a test model they print with this machine so they pretty much say yeah the printer is working real well and uh, enjoy it 
And of course, on the bottom part, we have the glass, the build plate. So I will now remove all the printer here, all the packaging, and uh, we will uh, have. Um, I will set up the little printer, and so we can have a test print with it. Okay, I just removed the printer from uh, all the the packaging, and uh, I can remove this, and I can pull the build plate a bit, erase a bit the build plate to be able to remove this bubble wrap inside the printer to keep everything secure during the shipping and we can find of course already in the printer an SD card probably with already some model inside so we can install the spool holder in the back part Here is the spool we already found inside. We can turn the printer. Oh, it's so, it's so tiny. <laughs> and uh, and now we can uh, put the cable and hold the electricity to be able to start and test it. Okay, I just plug the printer. Uh, so. We can check it if it's working. Yeah, oh, so bright, so nice. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> and now we can uh, follow step by step uh, the screen and uh, set up all the printer really quickly. Pretty much all time when you buy an Ultimaker, you just follow. I think at the time it was 20 step or something like that when I bought the Ultimaker 2. Uh, we just proceed with all the um, uh, procedure here and uh, I will install the build plate uh, too. So we have here the build plate and we just open here the clamp on the front and we can insert. things like you could use the blue tape or the glue usually I prefer glue or like I use a hairspray uh, is a preference uh, depends how you usually do with other printers uh, so it's just say yeah it's 21 steps so I say welcome to the first uh, startup of your Ultimaker press the button to continue because this is the first startup, I will walk you th uh, through a force run wizard. Yeah, the build plate is going down. Now it's going up. And uh, okay, setting home the extruder. And now we can move the build plate and with the card. With the calibration card, we can understand the right height of the build plate. Seems good. Then we do, of course, the corner. You need that to have a bit of friction the paper with the extruder. Seems okay. No, still better now. We have a bit of friction. Okay, now it's to a touch. It lets you check two times because when you change the other setting it will uh, change the the level of the build plate so checking two time it will let be sure it's working well it's calibrated really well so yeah, it's fine a bit tight but it's fine yes Yes. 
So we just pretty much finished the calibration. As you saw, it take me like two, three minutes or less. Uh, it's really easy and just following all the steps. Uh, now I say now we level the build plate. Uh, the next step is to insert the material. Continue. So say please wait. The printhead uh, for the material loading. So is heating up the uh, extruder. And in the meantime, I can open this material. So it just starts to rotate the motor to pull in the filament so we can put the filaments behind and uh, let the printer pull it. Okay, I had some little issue, I don't know why, to take the filaments but then I just press continue and push a bit more the filaments and now it's loading. Uh, it will take a bit of time because it was uh, probably skipping the motor a bit, but now it is going really well. So I will wait to load the material and I will give you some update. Okay, now you can see now the filament is coming down. I will just leave it a bit because probably the extruder they already, it is already being used <coughs> for doing the test print. It seems everything is going really fine. <coughs> So we can just press continue. I'm ready, let's make a 3D print. Uh, select a print file on the SD card and press the button to print it. So in the SD card they have already a lot of um, <coughs> model. I will choose a quick one and we will do a first test print of the machine. And now we can choose the model. Uh, I will show something small. Uh, yeah, I will go for the Ultimega robot, it's pretty much the classic, and uh, we can start it. So, so now the printer is just move the head, the extruder. Uh, on the front part and they will heat up the uh, the extruder and when the extruder will be heat up it will start to print and uh, of course this printer is that small is doesn't have a heated bed it print pretty only pretty much PLA you can try ABS but I don't think it will work well uh, of course because it's really tiny, uh, it doesn't make sense to have a build plate, a heated build plate. It's extruding some material and then uh, we'll start to print. As you can see it just finished to print the robot and probably yeah we can just pull it off with hands and uh, it came out really well how you just saw on the time lapse. It's really really nice the detail came out really really well. So I will give you other detail about this printer. This printer the build plate is 120 by 120 by 115 millimeter. So it's quite small uh, compared to the other printer I already have but at the same time you can use it to do a lot of project I would love probably to experiment to do something like be like a props with this printer uh, it would be quite tricky but it would be like kind of a challenging project and um, about the nozzle uh, is of course at 0 0.4 and uh, you use uh, 2.85 filament uh, this was a quick video to show you the machine. 
and uh, the packaging uh, for Sprint. Uh, as you saw, it's quite really plug and play printer. Uh, is you put the power, you load the filaments, you do a force calibration, and then you just print really easily. Uh, the lights is really amazing, uh, and I really love the design of Ultimaker. And uh, I will bring uh, uh, other video about this machine. So if you have other questions you want to uh, ask me, feel free to leave in the comments. I will go through and I will reply in the next video we'll do with this machine. Uh, and probably in the next one will be some add-ons you can print to improve the packaging and be able to carry around really easily. And uh, uh, and I want to do a kind of a short video or kind of a vlogs where I go around the city or travel with this machine. Uh, so hope you like it. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, like always, you have uh, the Patreon. Uh, so you can go there and uh, give me a dollar or more how you want. Uh, or you, you can use the Amazon affiliate link. And uh, I will leave, of course, the link for the machine uh, in the description. So if you want to check it out on the Ultimaker uh, uh, site, you can check it. And uh, see you at the next one. Bye, guys.